Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode from Steve Adventure Academy. This one, I couldn't say for sure what we might call it, but uh, some might say that it could be called uh, Spider Co. My EDC. Now, if you remember our previous EDC videos, you're going to remember that I made a couple of comments referencing Spider Co. as, frankly, one of the uglier knives. I probably said something about what's the hole for, are they trying to save money, um, that sort of thing. And <laughs> one of my subscribers uh, took it upon themselves very generously to set me up with a sweetheart deal so I could start carrying one of these and uh, see what all the fuss is about. Now, if you, if you are a Spider Co. fan, and you'll know if you are, these things have a crazy cult following. Um, it's almost at a ridiculous level how many sprint runs and blade steels are available in every style with every um, blade finish, um, all with the hideous hole, but um, whatever. Uh, this one is uh, one of the least objectionable insofar as this is the uh, PM2, uh, often referred to as the paramilitary 2. The Digicam scales are actually pretty friggin' cool, and it does lend itself to some customization, so you can see we've uh, polished this bit out using the strop. We stropped the back, the uh, lanyard hole spacer so that it more is more in line with its brothers and sisters in the back rather than being blacked out like it was formerly. And a little stropping action gave the pocket clip a little bit of personality. You'll also notice that one of the screws is missing. So we may as well talk about that elephant in the room. <clears throat> the screws are very easy to damage. Uh, this one was damaged from the factory. I sent Spyderco an email asking where I could buy screws, and they very generously offered to send us screws. Though I'm not anybody fancy, so I'm assuming that that's what their uh, customer service is all about. So, in theory at least, they haven't arrived yet. God only knows how long they might take if they're coming from Golden, Colorado. But if they're coming from Golden, Colorado, I expect, expect them to take a long time, particularly in the current mailing situation. So, what's all the hubbub about Spyderco as an EDC? Well, I'll tell you what. I think I've figured out what the hole is for. That. Or maybe this one. Some people like to use the index finger. I'm not sure 100% how I would do that, since I would have to get some kind of funky grip and all to keep the knife from flying out of my hand. And as you can see, lifetime fail with the index finger. But second finger gives you a nice pinch between the thumb Palm, thumb, palm, and first finger. Second finger does all the work. And then, really, I'd have to work to pull that knife out of my own hand. Uh, thumb flick is nice as well. Just gotta get your fingers out of the road and real hard. The back lock, um, Spyderco sure has a fancier name for it, but essentially it's a back liner lock. Works awesome. You can operate the blade real drop shetty and <laughs> much better than their tenacious. Uh, which has an obscenely hard detent to stop it from being able to be flicked. And then when you put your fingers in here, there's a nut that detent acts again in the Tenacious to stop the blade, almost like it's been hit by a car, it stops it in its tracks so that it can't be closing on your fingers. Well, this one, you don't have to worry about it. You can flick it all day long. So what's the spidey hole for? To make it more fidgety. Um, is it a stress riser? Absolutely. Uh, you can look up uh, Spyderco fails all over YouTube University, uh, particularly the the S110V right now. There seem to be a plethora of videos with the blade failing during this uh, crazy low grind, which goes right over the huge stress riser they've drilled in the blade. However, these knives are also crazy customizable. So very shortly, we'll be ordering a pair of custom uh, copper scales for this one. Uh, the copper being the main attraction to the PM2, and the copper will take on a patina that uh, will just get better and better as it gets uglier and uglier throughout the rest of its life. And so, there is a Spyderco, the bird knife, Caw in my collection. And, frankly, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it is... In the review section, if we wanted to review it quickly, it is crazy slicey, as you can imagine. There's almost nothing behind the edge. Um, Spyderco didn't chicken out as much as a lot of companies do with their crappy V-Edge. It is very close, and as you can see, I went to town on mine, 
and it's all but scandied out at this point. Uh, polished it out with the strop, and frankly, it works pretty good. Uh, the ergos are horrific, insofar as generally you're going to want to hold a knife in this area for carving, and that's the smallest part of the handle. I, do you once in a while you might put your thumb out here on this jimping, which is crazy aggressive. Uh, but I generally want to hold a knife for carving in this position so I can move the material and you really can't do that. Now I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll squeeze it as hard as I can. Like I've, my fingers are touching. Everything's bottomed out and the blade still moves back and forth. Um, I didn't enjoy that part. That's just my opinion. I don't enjoy that at all. Uh, a much better carving handle is something that Oh, that's a satisfying snap. Something that when you hold it with your fingers all, it doesn't move. That's just squishy muscle and tendons letting that thing move. This guy, same, real hard grip, wobble, wobble, wobble. Uh, the other thing that I really missed with carving with this one is I tend to hold the material and then use my thumb to drive the blade through when I'm making a smaller more pristine cuts even out near the tip. Uh, with this one not having a straight spine made that very difficult. This guy you can push through, make your cuts. This one here you're hunting to try and figure out where you're going to put your hand. Um, you can choke up on it up here but frankly why would I ever want to, I can't, well, I mean what am I cutting there? I'm, I'm cutting toothpicks in this part of the blade when I'm choked up on it like that. It's just weird. Frankly it's just weird. But People love these, and <laughs> I guess, what are you going to do? It's uh, people like what they like. Kaka! So, um, it is. It makes a, a nice food prep piece. It passes right through anything you'd ever want to eat. Uh, you can make thin slices for your apples. It's just super, super fun. Um, clearly not a very tactical blade insofar as it gets just gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, People use these for prying, and I just chuckle because, frankly, it's like we like prying with a leaf. It's just not made for that. Uh, the S30V is real nice and hard. It does take a little bit of effort to sharpen, which is not a bad thing because the edge retention is really, really good. It uh, I used it for everything on a whole weekend of camping. Uh, carved actually carved some really hard wood. Uh, if you're not aware, if you catch wood that's been in the ocean for a while, but not so long that it starts to get punky and saturated, it, it hardens up real nice and makes great tent pegs. So I was carving some tent pegs out of some really hard wood, and this uh, the, just held the edge all weekend. Uh, the pocket clip definitely creates hot spots. It's, the, the spoon is enormous. It's right in the middle of the, bla of the handle. There's really no getting away from that except with a deep carry custom clip, which is very likely to happen to this after the copper. Uh, but i got to tell you, even though it doesn't feel great in the hand, I love how this is looking right now, so who knows what will happen. And so, uh, by way of, uh, I think that the, perhaps my subscriber that was, uh, again, hooked me up with a sweetheart deal here. Thank you so much for that. You know who you are. Um, I think they might have even been hoping for a retraction. I can't say that that's necessarily going to happen. I had had a lot of time to think about what I said and chose my words carefully in the word in the uh, theme of Dr. Jordan Peterson. He says to be precise in your speech, and I still don't really get the spidey hole insofar as if I'm making a knife, I want it to be strong. I want it to have a certain aesthetic. This isn't it. But if I was making a hand toy for adults, well. <laughs> this thing, you just don't want to ever want to put it down. Much to the chagrin of my spouse, and uh, well, let's face it, I haven't been to the mall since all this started, so <laughs> hopefully uh, they'll be understanding. But this thing is crazy fun, and they're super customizable. This one, although it is beautiful, this one just, oh man. Everything about this is just awesome. The ergos are fantastic. It really fits in your hand where this one doesn't quite so much. Uh, this one has almost no fidgetability insofar as 
you know, the lock, the triad lock is very stiff, but, whew, anyway, <laughs> onward and upward. So, should you put a PM2 in your pocket? I would say yes, over the PM3. Uh, the PM3 is much smaller. It has a smaller blade and a much smaller handle. Uh, it's just not as much fun. Uh, generally, you're basically going to be using your fingers since it's almost an inch shorter in the handle. Uh, you can look up the specs online. There'll be a hundred people telling you how great they are. But for fidgetability, for fooling around, and for customizability, hmm, maybe Spyderco can't be beat. Feel free to post your comments in the comment section below if you uh, love it or hate it. Um, I'm having a hard time not loving it for the flickability and still kind of hating it for the weird bird looking bad ergos and ridiculous price. I mean really, this is S30V, this is S35V, these are 150, this is 250 ish. So 150-ish, 250-ish. More steel. Hold it pivot to pivot. Less holes. Stronger lock. Just more of everything awesome. In any case, that's probably uh, way more words than we needed to say about the uh, Spyderco PM2. A really great slicey been fun I'll tell you it's been fun and it hasn't displaced anything out of my EDC I just added it in in any case special thanks to uh, the uh, subscriber who was kind enough to uh, set me up with the sweetheart deal can't wait to get the copper scales on here and see how ugly and beautiful at the same time they'll get and from Steve adventure stay safe and caca